Hey guys, and welcome to a new video in this computer vision tutorial. In this video here, we're going to talk about face recognition. So we're going to see how we can actually like do face recognition in OpenCV in Python. But first of all, remember to hit the subscribe button and bell notification under the video here. Only 10% of you guys are watching these videos here are actually like subscribed to this channel and it will just mean a lot to me and the YouTube channel if you could hit that subscribe button. You can also become a member of the channel if you want to support the channel with a small amount of the fee. Uh, everything will go to create more and better quality content here on the channel. Also, if you're a member of the channel, I can also help you out in your own projects. If you have some problems, I can help you out and give some guidance if you're a member of the channel. So thank you guys. So let's just jump straight into the code here. We're going to see how we can actually like set up face recognition here in Python with OpenCV. So first of all, we're just going to load in a couple of images. We're going to use the face recognition from the DLib library. It's actually like a really nice face detector. And then we can also uh, combine that with face recognition. So we can actually like recon recognize faces in the images. So before on this channel here, we've mostly been focusing on detection of different kind of objects in the scene, but now we're going to try to do some face recognition, object recognition, and so on. I'm also going to create another video where I'm going to show you how we can train your own uh, face re recognizer so we can actually like have your own database with your own faces and so on and create a, like a face re recognition um, algorithm in that way. Then you can train your own model, deploy your model if you, for example, do like acceptance of different kind of like in an office if you go inside an office then you can open a door or like unlock something based on like the face recognized in front of the door or something like that so it can be used for a lot of different kind of things and so now we're taking face detection to the next level where we're also going to do face recognition of the face so not only detecting the face but recognizing what face is in this bounding box here or like what face are we recognizing in the images first of all here again we are going to use the face recognition from the dlib library so first of all, we need to act like install DLib and also um, OpenCV. And also we need the face recognizer from DLib. So first of all, we need to in pip install. So we're going to pip install and then we can just type in DLib. Here we'll just hit enter and we can see that I've already, all my requirements here are already satisfied. But if you get an error here, I got an error here when I tried to install this uh, DLib here on my computer. So if you get an error here, we can actually like go into GitHub, just download the wheel, and then we can pip install that wheel instead if you can't, uh, we get it here in the terminal. So if you get an error, just try to go to this GitHub here, download this um, wheel here, and then pip install that wheel instead of DLib um, in the command prompt, and then it should work out. Here you can see we can download it for Python 3.7, 3.8, and 3.9. And here we can just see that we have this DLib uh, compiled binary wheel for, for these Python versions here on Windows. So basically we just need to download the file and then we can just copy it into our root folder of our Python distribution and then we just pip install it here. So in this example, we're just going inside the pip install here. So we can basically just type pip install and then we're just going to specify the wheel. So we're just going to type out this name here for the wheel that we have downloaded just to make sure that that wheel would act like be in this directory that you're working in and then you should be able to install dlib and then we can install the face recognition module and everything that should be up running again you can just go down in my github it will be in the description as well you can just go into my github take the code uh, copy paste it try to play around with it yourself tr play uh, like play around with it create your own face recognizer and so on so here after that we can just go in and pip install our face recognition module so that will just be face uh, slash uh, recognition so that will be just be this we just hit enter and now we're going to pip install our face uh, recognition module and we can see here that my um, requirements here are already satisfied so now we have everything installed we can then go into visual studio code here again we're going to import OpenCV. we're going to import the face recognition module that we just uh, pip installed and then we're going to import numpy as np so this face recognition module here it requires the dlib module that we also installed um, and that, that i just showed you here on github so first of all we can go inside the face recognition module and then we can call a method called load image from the file and then we basically just specify a path here to a file it, it's going to read it in as an image as we've already done you could like this function here similar to um, it's, it's similar to imshow in OpenCV. So here we can see it loads in an image as JPEG and, and, and PNGs and so on into a NumPy array. So we can use it with NumPy, uh, we can use it with PIL, we can use it with OpenCV and so on. So all these different kind of modules and libraries that we already know of. Then we're just going to store it in this im variable. We're going to just show it first of all. So we show what image we're working with. And then we're just going to convert the color here because when we load it in with the face recognition module, it will be in the RGB format where OpenCV uses the BGR 
a format for displaying at the color channels. So here we're just going to show our image and then we're going to have a weight key of zero. So I'm just going to run the program here so we can see what image here we're actually like working with. And here we're just going to activate our base. So this will be our image that we're going to work with. First of all, first of all, we're going to do face detection. And after that, we're going to apply uh, some face landmarks and then we can do face recognition based on that where we're going to have some um, embeddings for each of the persons here that we have in our images, images for recognition. So here we're just going to kill a terminal again. So now we're going to create the face detection. We're going to just go into face recognition dot face location. And then we just get the, all the location of the faces that we did, that the, the face recognition module here is capable of detecting. We just pass in our image to the model and then we'll just get out all the face locations um, that it found in our image. So this is basically just a machine learning or like deep blowing model. We're just passing an image through it. We do a forward pass of our image and then we get an output out in, in the end, which is the boundary boxes or the coordinates for our boundary boxes uh, to all the faces that were detected in the image. Then we can basically just have a for loop running through all our face, for face locations. We're going to have a top pixel, a right pixel, and a bottom pixel, and also a left pixel. Basically, we can just go in, run through all our face detections, and just draw a rectangle around that um, around that face that we detected in the image. We're going to use OpenCV for that. So we're going to call CV2 the rectangle, and then we're going to pass in the image. We're going to pass in the left co left corner and the top corner, and then we're going to have the bottom right corner of a bounding box will be the right and the bottom coordinate here. So this is the X and Y coordinate for the top left corner and, and the bottom right corner here, the coordinates X and Y. Then we're just going to have a color and also a thickness of our rectangle. Then we're going to in show here uh, image again. So we can actually like, see that we're able to detect uh, a face in the image. So now we're just going to run the program here again. First of all, we're loading in the image. We have a wait key. So we're waiting until I press a key. I'll hit a key now and it will should be able to perform face detection so in this image, we can see that we're detecting one face here of Barack Obama. So it's a fairly nice bounding box around um, his face in this image. So this is how we can do face detection with uh, with face recognition here from uh, DLib. So the, last, the next thing here I'm going to show you before we're jumping into the face recognition part is the facial landmark detection because often we want to detect different kind of landmarks. It could be the chin, the left eyebrow, right eyebrow, nose bridge. A nose tip, left eye, right eye, uh, top lip, and bottom lip. These are all the different kind of facial features that we're able to detect with this uh, face recognition module here from DLib. So basically, we again we just need to call a single function. Uh, we're just going inside our face recognition module dot face landmarks, and then we just pass in our image again. So this is just another function for detecting landmarks. Where up here we used our face locations. Now we're using face landmarks, and we get our face landmark list over here to the left. So that will basically just be a list uh, containing all these different kind of facial features. And then inside of this dictionary here, we, we, all the coordinates of these uh, different kind of facial features here will then be stored. So we can actually just have a for loop running through all these fa uh, facial feature lists here that we have. So I've set up these for loops here, as we can see. So basically just, just like uh, an intuitive way to run through all of them. So we just have a for loop here running through all the life face landmarks. So we just have all the face landmarks for each of the individual uh, persons that we have detected in our image. Again, in this image here, we only have one person. So that will just be one time through this for loop. Then we're going to take all the face landmarks for that single person. And then we're going to run through all these face features here. So we want to display all the face features. You could also choose individual features here. You'll just have to index them here as well. So you just have the bracket parentheses and then you just need to specify, for example, the chin here inside of the facial features. But now we're just going to run through all the facial features and then we're going to just display all the facial features that we're able to detect with this face recognition module. Then inside our face landmarks here, we can actually just take all the facial features and then it will return a point. And that point, we're just going to draw that as a circle on our image. So it will just be a really small circle. So basically, we're just displaying what we're actually like detecting in our facial landmarks with the recognition module here uh, from DLib. Again, we're just ensuring what we are detecting and we have a wait key here before we're going to jump down to the face recognition part. So now we both have face detection and face landmark detection with face recognition module. So here we're running the program. We're activating our conduct base. We're loading in our image. We're waiting for a key press. I hit a key press and then we're detecting the face. Now when we detected the face, we can actually also detect the landmarks in the face. And here we can see we draw it here with this uh, pink 
uh, this pink color here, all the different kind of landmarks. So we can see we have some like left ears, like the eyes here, the eyebrows, um, the chin, also the nose and also the lips here. So we both have the top lips and the bottom lips and so on. So we actually have a lot of different kind of facial landmarks uh, by using this face recognition module. So the last thing here that I'm going to show you is probably the most exciting part, which is the face recognition part. So we already have a lot of other different kind of like libraries that can do face detection, face landmark detection and so on. But the, the nice thing about the face recognition module here is that it's just really easy to set up a face recognition algorithm. And in the next videos, I'm going to show you how we can actually like train your own models. So how you can do like face detection on your own faces and all like face recognition on your own faces, some of your friend faces and so on. Uh, so it's going to be really nice. Make sure to hit the subscribe button under the video and also the bell notification so you get a notification when I upload uh, those videos. So we're going to focus way more about face recognition, how we can train these models here ourselves and create some really nice applications and projects based on face recognition. But here we can just use the face recognition module again. We just load a new image of Barack Obama and then we have another image here of Barack Obama as well. That will be our unknown image so we have one image which is our database and then we're going to match that with an unknown image to see if we can act like recognize a face in that image and see if it's the same person or not the same person um, for this uh, example here that i'm going to show you then we're also going to have two other un unknown images so we're going to have an image of elon musk and also an image of tiger woods to see if it's able to detect that 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 those persons here are not uh, barack obama in the image when we actually like decoding or like decoding our faces here uh, with the deep learning models that we have from this face recognition module. So first of all, we need to do an image encoding. So when you go inside the face recognition module, we take the face encodings and then we just pass in our image and then we actually like just return the image encodings. So wh what an encoding is, is basically just that we're going to have like a feature vector at the end, we pass in our image to our model. That model would try to find different kind of features um, in that image of the face. So here we're just detecting the face, we're finding features in that face and those features, then we can match those features with other faces that we're detecting um, and encoding. So we can actually like match those and see if it's the same person or not um, later on. So we're going to do the exact same thing for our unknown person or like our unknown encoding. So we just pass in our unknown image to the face encodings. So we are both encoding the image from our database that we want to recognize and then our unknown image to see if we can actually like match that image with our database that we have. So right now we just have one image in our database, but we can have multiple images. We can train our own models and so on. So that's for another video. Then when we have, an, then when we have our encodings, we can actually go down and just compare our faces based on our image encodings. So that will be inside this face recognition module again. So this module here is actually like really easy to use. We're only calling a couple of functions as you can see here. So it's either like face encodings, face detection, face landmark list, and so on. And we can also just throw compare faces, throw two image encodings, and it will do everything for us. It will just return the results. So it's really easy and intu intuitive um, to work with. And it's act like it has really good performance as well. And it's just really easy to just set up. So here, when we compare faces, we will just return the results in this results variable. And this results variable would actually just return true or false based on if we can actually like compare uh, or like these image encodings and the unknown encodings here are similar or if they're not similar. So we're just going to put our text on our unknown image and then we can say that if this is a Barack Obama and then we're going to print the results which will either be true or false and then we can just show the image. We can show the original image in our database of Barack Obama and then we can also show our unknown image um, of the person that we actually like match or like compare with Barack Obama in our database. So again, it can be Every person in the whole world, you can just take it, load it into a database and you can use like whatever you want. We just need these face encodings here. So all faces in the whole world or like they have like, they don't have similar features. We all have different kind of features in our faces and so on that can then be matched to our own face or other faces in a database. So here we're just going to sh show our images when we run a program. So here we're just going to run a program. We're activating our Conda base again. And first of all, we just need to run through what we have already and through so here we're loading in our image doing face detection we do our face landmark detection and then when we're done this we have actually like done both face recognition or like face detection and face landmark detection and now we're going to do the recognition part of Barack Obama here so when I hit a key here again we will load in the images 
So right now we're just matching one image to another image of Barack Obama. So here up here, we can see that our model actually returns that Barack Obama here is true. So this is a Barack Obama in this right image over here to the right. And this is our unknown image where over here to the left, we have our image from the database. So we have our encodings of this face and then we're matching it to the encodings of this face in this image here. And when we compare it, it returns true that this is act like Barack Obama in the image. So now we're going to terminate the program here and then we can try with the other different kind of faces. So now we're going to try it with Elon Musk. We're just going to run the program here again and see if we get some other results or the same results. We're just going to run through the face detection part again and now we'll hit the key. So now it's matching it. So now we can see we have Elon Musk up here. We're now finding features in Elon Musk face. And now we can see that it returns Barack Obama is equal to false. So this is not Barack Obama in this unknown image here that we can see on the right. So this acts like a really good recognizer. We only have one image that we are matching it to. We could have multiple images that we're matching to. So we have different kind of like features uh, or like encodings that we are matching. So this is one example. And the last thing here that I want to show is just Tiger Woods to see if we can compare Tiger Woods features with Barack Obama's features and see if we can actually like see differences um, of those. We can also try other different kind of people and so on. But this is a really accurate model that we're going to do face recognition on. We're going to use it a lot in the upcoming videos here on the channel. So this is the last example that we're going to run. I'm just going to run this code. We run through a program again, face section, face landmark section, and now we're doing the recognition part. So now we can see that this is our unknown image. We take the features from this face of Tiger Woods, and then we're matching, matching it to the features of Barack Obama's face. And now we can see here that Barack Obama is equal to false. So this is not Barack Obama's face in this image over here to the right. So this is again, this is a really accurate model. It acts like runs fairly smooth. I'm also going to create another video where we're going to load in like videos or like frames from a webcam. So we're actually like going to do live face recognition from a webcam. So thank you guys for watching this video here and make the subscribe button and bell notification on the video. And also just like this video here. If you like the content and you want more in the future, it just really helps me and the YouTube channel out in a massive way. I'm currently doing computer vision tutorial where we're talking about basic image operations, camera calibration, stereo vision, how we can combine stereo vision with point clouds, do different kinds of operations and so on. So if you're interested in computer vision and that tutorial, I'll link to it up here or else I'll see you next video guys. Bye for now.